Hello everyone, David Seven Skies here broadcasting from the Seven Skies mansion as always. Today is a good day because Steve Duda just released a new version of Serum which has a lot of bug fixes which is always good but it comes with a lot of new features especially to you know customize your Serum, change a little bit of the graphic, change the color, change the fonts. So today's video is going to be pretty nerdy. It's actually going to be so nerdy that I'm going to wear my glasses and I never do on YouTube. Uh, but there's going to be a little bit of uh, messing with Photoshop. There's going to be, uh, you know, messing with uh, a, a text files. It's not going to be anything crazy, but it's going to be something a little nerdy and it's not going to be technical um, sound wise. So if you don't care about graphic, if you don't care about customize your serum, you can skip this video. You can come back next time. There's going to be a cool video about how to do a couple things in serum. But if you are interested, just keep watching because I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. Glasses on first. And they're probably dirty. And all right. So here we have serum and let's open it and as you can see serum looks exactly the same but the first thing we want to do is show serum preset folder and over here there is a folder which is called skins and then i already went ahead and created a seven skies uh, folder then you see one x over here this is just me testing um how the skin works so basically what you have to do is you simply copy all the bitmaps or the PNGs from uh, 1x and 2x and you put them in a 1x and 2x folder you have to create and then you can customize your skin you can create your own here I was just messing with it I just wanted to see if it worked so uh, this one is just a skin that has a negative color or inverted color and so if you go to seven skies you'll see that it just changes, but we don't really care about that one. Um, and actually what I'm going to do is delete this uh, folder. Now, the first thing you have to do is download this uh, content over here. I'll drop a link down below so you can go into expert official forum and you'll find uh, those assets that you need. And so we'll open the PDF and here it is and you can see this is basically um, a map of uh, all the different colors that you want to change. We'll, we'll look at everything in a second and then you get this color map file over here which is super tiny but it's just pixels and what you have to do with it is to open it in Photoshop and then you zoom it a lot. I'm at 3,200% um, of the size. So basically the pixels are huge. And this is your color map. So if you want to change stuff, this is where you have to change it. Now, if we go back to our PDF, here we see, for example, waveform, wavetable, line color used in 3D view. And G7 and 3D for secondary color. So basically, this color over here, which is in D6, and here you can see A, B, C, D. This is one, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6. This one over here will basically set the color of this line. So if now in Photoshop, I go here, and this is the this is the color that we want to change. I go here and I pick, for example, uh, this purple and I fill this color with purple and then I hit save. You see now that as I switch to seven skies, boom, you see the color changed. Now there is a cool way to do this and I went ahead and took a screenshot of uh, the wave table. I also took a screenshot of the LFO so I can change that color as well. And in Photoshop, if you go into adjustment and hue saturation, you can change the color. And I kind of want to go with some 
pinkish reddish color I really like this color over here <clears throat> so what you can do is with a color picker you can pick the color and now we can go back to our color map hit undo a couple times and we can fill it with the color that we just picked now if you if you're not familiar with Photoshop obviously uh, this tutorial might be a little bit confusing uh, for you but basically in Photoshop uh, you have these two colors over here. You, you have a background color and a foreground color. Um, so whenever you select something, hit Alt and Delete, it will fill it with the foreground color. And if you hit uh, Command and Delete, it will fill it with the background color. So this is how I filled the whole color over here. Anyway, now we hit Save again. We go back to our uh, serum and there you go you see that the line is now pink red whatever fuchsia whatever this color is now uh, I want to change this inside gradient as well and let's look at where it is if you see it over here it says gradient for wave table editor and no, actually it's this one, 3D Wavetable Gradient A, and it's D9, so B C D one two three four five six seven eight nine. So let's try this one, so A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and let's go ahead and fill it up with this color hit save and see what happens boom there you go now we're missing the other one which is this one is d9 the other one should be d12 so if this one is D9, 10, 11, and 12, this one should be it. And actually, so 1, 10, nah, 10, 11, 12, and this should, should be the right one. Also, get fucked up because that was supposed to be the brighter one. And now we need the darker one, which would be this one. So let's go back here, fill it up, hit save, and let's see how it looks now. There you go. That looks pretty dope. Now I have to say, I'm still a massive fan of the original uh, serum skin, so I would probably just work with uh, the default one until a very, very cool one comes out, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, I know my friend Lance, who's the same guy who's desi who designed um, the um, the original skin, as well as the skin for live that you see right now. I know he's working on a new one. He showed me uh, a beta of what he's doing, and it's amazing. Uh, so I might switch to that one. But uh, in all honesty, I think the Serum original skin, it's amazing. And I really don't want to change it. Um, but yeah. If you like to change colors around, this is how you do it. It takes a little bit of like finding stuff around and then picking colors and try and error. But um, this is how you do it if you're interested in changing the color in Serum. Now, there is another thing that you can change with the new update, and it's the fonts over here. So let's go back to our skin and sorry, let's go back to our folders. Once again, you have to create a folder inside the skin folder over here. And once again, if you don't know where to go, for example, let me close it. You go in Serum, show Serum preset folder. It'll bring it up and you find the skin folder in here. You create your own one and then you're set. Now, if you want to change the fonts, what you do is you create a new folder inside your custom folder and you call it fonts. Once you created this fonts folder, 
you get this fondef.txt file and you drag it in. I copied it just to make sure. And then you open it. And here you have a list of fonts that right now Serum is using. So I have all my fonts over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to get uh, a whatever font that I can find. Open sounds, regular. As far as they are TTF, they should work. So what you do is you copy it inside the font folder. And also what you do is you copy the name. It has to be the exact same name of the file. Now we open our font folder and we start copying it around. Obviously, you might want to have different uh, fonts for the different type of for the different locations. Uh, I'm just copying it all over. So uh, it's easy for you to see what's happening. Now when I copied the name over here, I just hit save. Now the file is saved. It's important that you save the file and that you have the font file inside your font folder. That is really important. Now let's switch back to default. So you see, this is how the font looks right now. If we switch back to the seven skies, boom, you see that the font slightly changed. Um, let's try to find some uh, crazy font. Something really funny. Let's try this one. Let's drag it in, copy the name, and then just change it up. Let's just do this, it's going to be quicker. And then we hit save, back to Serum, hit Seven Skies, and then you get this uh, font, which is, this one is actually a cool thing. Uh, once again, original skin, I probably wouldn't change the fonts, and as you can see here, is messing with your um, with the value over here, so you can't really tell uh, what it what it's saying unless you do this. Even here, it looks you can change you can change it pretty much everywhere. You can change it here. You can change the values, and obviously, um, every different file over here is a different location in Serum. So one of this is probably um, there. You go used for me menu titles. Um, and then this is the preset menu. This is the text label. Obviously, based on the uh, location of the text, you might want to change and have a different one. Because like I said here, you can't really see what the value is unless you click over here. Uh, so this is it. Uh, I mean, this thing requires a lot of time, especially to find everything. Um, You've seen how long it takes to sort of like really find where uh, what color this is and what other color this is and what other stuff this is. It takes it takes some trial and error. But if you are a skin guy and you want to personalize your serum, I'm sure it takes a little bit of time. But at the end of the day, it'll be worth it. But I'm going to go back to my default skin because I like it better, even though I have to be honest, I really like the pinky um, wavetable. But yes, I hope this helped you figure out how you can customize your serum. I would say you have to be a little bit advanced. You have to be a little bit of a nerd because you need to know Photoshop. You need to know what you're looking for, uh, but it's not insanely hard. I hope this tutorial was helpful, at least as a starting point. Now from here, you can just pick your colors, change whatever you want. You can find wherever they are. But I really want to know if you're going to keep the default uh, skin, if you changed skin already, if you're going to customize your own. Also, drop me some links to whatever work it's around. If, you, if you've seen some skins that are you know worth trying or worth looking at. If you did some skin work yourself, let me know in the comments down below. I really want to see what you guys come up with. And like I said, today it wasn't really a sound design tutorial. It was more of a customized serum tutorial. But hey, it's always good to learn something new. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I will drop a serum tutorial very soon. So for me, David Seven Skies, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.